Hi Bruce from Safari and we're in front of our new Meteor batteries here. We've got six here. These are roughly 200 amps each at 12 volt. So you're looking here at 1200 amp hours at 12 volts. They run at a higher voltage. We're running now the same voltage as Victron. These are 57.6. And you can see on these LEDs, the uh, state of charge of the batteries, it's somewhere around 70, 75%. We're gonna show you more of that in a minute. The batteries are IP66, so they're gonna go under the floor in a 52 foot cat over in WA, sale Ningaloo. Shout out to Luke. And these plugs on the front are IP67. I'm gonna show you something about that in a minute as well. Uh, but these batteries just plug together. You can see end to end because we've got a 48 volt bus inside these batteries and we've actually got a 12 volt bus. And at the moment on the bottom here, uh, we've got the 48 volt connected and there's a mega fuse and I can add in here a 12 volt mega fuse and plug into the front of this a new Scotty Meteor and then this battery pack will deliver 48 and 12 volts so you get 12 volt straight out of the battery pack. It's absolutely incredible. Now you can see here now that there are three lights on but we're now going to turn off the load. So David turn it off and when we turn off the need for the 48 volt power all the lights go out and we just get one flickering uh, green LED. Now I'm doing that to conserve power. And by flashing this now in its dormant state, these batteries will last up to five times longer. The actual secret of this battery is the plug. And what you'll notice in the plug are two big steel pins. So in the past when I've had Amphenol connectors and I haven't had these steel pins, then you get some wobble and movement. Uh, that would not be good. So those big steel pins go into these two holes here and locate it. And then the data pins here are going into the top and that does not move. And that plug, you see me putting it in, is a US military grade plug. It's suitable for seven and a half kilowatts per plug. And if you want to isolate that battery train, you just pull that off. At the back end of the battery train is the negative plug. Very simple little negative plug. And what we've done on this sale in Ningaloo is we've just joined them all up on a bus that we're gonna be sending over to Luke there so he can join each individual battery train up. So these batteries are all totally redundant. Even though I've got them in the plugged in together here, they're in parallel. The bus runs through in parallel. So turn this battery off, this battery will continue to run and will continue to read it. Uh, totally compatible with Victron. They appear on the Victron display in percent. So I'll just cut over. I'm gonna show you more of this in a minute. There it is down there. And we can see the battery health, um, all the alarm data, everything in the Victron display with the media battery. How good's that? 